Hay fever, which doctors might refer to as allergic rhinitis, is an allergic reaction to pollen, which is the fine powder often found in flowers and plants when they come into bloom in the spring and summer. Now, hay fever happens when the pollen comes into contact with your mouth, nose, eyes, and throat. In the US and the UK, hay fever is usually worse between late March and September, especially when it's warm, humid, and windy, and that's because it's when the pollen count is at its highest. Now, in this video, we're going to cover the following areas, all of which are timestamped. So, symptoms of hay fever include sneezing and coughing, a runny or blocked nose, itchy, red, or watery eyes, an itchy throat, mouth, nose, and ears, as well as loss of smell, which is known as anosmia. You might also experience pain around the temples and forehead due to blocked sinuses, as well as headache, earache, and feeling tired. Now, if you've got asthma, you might also have a tight feeling in your chest. You might find yourself feeling short of breath, as well as having a wheeze and a cough. Now, unlike a cold, which usually goes away after one to two weeks, hay fever can actually last for weeks or months, and people will often ask how they can treat it, and that's what we're going to cover next. So whilst there's currently no cure for hay fever and you can't prevent it, you can do things to ease your symptoms when the pollen count is high. Now, these include putting Vaseline around your nostrils to trap pollen, wearing wraparound sunglasses to stop pollen getting into your eyes, showering and changing your clothes after you've been outside, and this is to wash the pollen off. You should try to stay indoors whenever possible as well and keep windows and doors shut as much as possible to stop the pollen getting inside. It's also worth vacuuming regularly and dusting with a damp cloth to remove any pollen. Some people suggest buying a pollen filter for the air vents in your car and a vacuum cleaner with a HEPA filter. Now, as well as these things that you should be doing, there are also some things that you should avoid doing where possible. These include not cutting grass or walking on grass, not keeping fresh flowers in the house, not smoking or being around smoke because this will make your symptoms worse, as well as trying to avoid drying your clothes outside because these can catch pollen and when you bring it inside and wear it, these can make your symptoms worse. Now, these are just a few examples of what you should and shouldn't do, but there are lots more useful tips on managing hay fever from Allergy UK, and I've included a link to this resource in the description box of the video. Now, if you've tried all of these self-help measures, then your pharmacist might be able to advise you on some over-the-counter medicines that you can use, such as antihistamines. However, it's worth speaking to them about these because some of these medicines can make you feel sleepy or drowsy, which can be an issue if you operate machinery or drive heavy goods vehicles. Now, if despite doing all of these things that I've mentioned here, as well as trying the over-the-counter medicine, your symptoms are still getting worse or they're not improving after taking medicines, then your doctor might prescribe a steroid treatment, such as a steroid nasal spray that you can use. Now, as a last resort, if steroids and other hay fever treatments are not working, then your doctor might refer you for something called immunotherapy. This means that you'll be given small amounts of pollen as an injection or a tablet to slowly build up your immunity to pollen. Now, this kind of treatment usually starts in the winter, typically about three months before the hay fever season begins. Now, immunotherapy is a specialist service and it may not be available everywhere, and you will need to discuss this with the specialist doctor who will decide if it's the right thing to do for you. If you want to share your own experiences, tips or tricks for managing hay fever symptoms in the comments section, please do so. I know that this can be really helpful for other people watching the video. And if you've learned something new, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching and bye.